Hello, we have been taking up, uh, you know, sessions on comparing quantities and have moved on to taking up um, discounts and value added tax. Herein, I continue with uh, value added tax, that's a VAT. See, the first very simple question which you can come across on VAT uh, will be like any um, uh, price of the article will be given and the uh, percentage of tax. Uh, provided you just have to calculate the um, price to be paid for that article by adding uh, the value of tax uh, the second type of question which you might come across will be the one which I'm writing on the uh, screen sorry it's Samir bought a shirt for rupees 336 this includes including 12 percent vat and a necktie and a necktie for rupees 110 including vat 10 percent we have to find the printed price that is without VAT, okay? Without VAT of shirt and the necktie together. So we will calculate first uh, separately uh, for the shirt and the necktie, then we can add them up. So we'll first find the printed price first, supposedly the shirt so i'll assume that let the printed price of the shirt be rupees x so in that case it says the vat is 12 percent so the vat will be 12 percent of rupees x so that is 12 by 100 x i write it here it will be sorry 12 by 100x this is the vat value i'll clear this point here sorry now so the sell price will be x plus 12 by 100x though we can reduce it to the lowest term this is given to be equal to 336 now separately or similarly we can uh, assume the printed price let the printed price of the neck tie b rupees y so in that case vat is vat will be 10 percent of it will be 10 percent of rupees y if it is 10 percent of rupees y so it is 10 by 100 y so what will be the printed price then printed price of the necktie printed price of the necktie will be y plus 10 over 100 y and that's given to be 110 so we separately calculate x and y and then we add this printed price to get the printed price of both of them together kindly just ignore it, the spell mistake which i just <coughs> noticed this i'm getting as if i reduce this or if, even if I don't do that, it becomes 112x over 100 is equal to 336. That makes me find 336 into 100 is 33600 divided by 112. So 33600 divided by 112 would give me 300. So the printed price of the shirt was rupees 300. And this is 110y by 100 is equal to 110. So that makes me find that y is equal to 100 because this would this get cancelled. So the total printed price will be, I can write here, total printed price will be 300 plus 100. That is 400 piece. This is one type of question. Uh, 
secondly you might just be asked to find the well the vat percentage let us take up one such question wherein you have to calculate the vat percentage that's not a difficult one to do though it says david purchased a pair of shoes for rupees 441 which includes including value added tax that means it includes the VAT this price which is 441 right now next it informs us then I just continue here it also informs that if the sales price of sorry of the shoes is rupees 420 find the rate of value added find the rate of VAT okay so let us see what is the increased cost of the shoes given so the increased cost of the shoes becomes 21 so I think 21 by if I'm doing it right it becomes 21 is the increased um, cost so it is 441 minus 420 so it is 21 right so it is now to convert this into percentage I mean that percentage we will be doing that value this is the VAT value which is calculated on the sale price that is given to be 420 and multiplied by 100 to give it a percentage this I think 2 that is giving me 5 so the VAT becomes 5 percent so this is another type of VAT question wherein you are asked to calculate the VAT percentage right the third one I write here in, the, in another screen maybe that will give me enough space to note it down. Here let me just write the question. Amit purchased, this will include actually discount as well as VAT. Amit purchases a motorcycle having a sorry having a marked price of rupees 46,000 at a discount of 5% this has a discount of 5% profit now if VAT is also calculated it's because after you are uh, you know you are given the discount you have to pay the VAT which is charged at a rate of 10% find the amount Oh, I made a mistake there. Spell mistake. Find the amount Amit has paid to purchase the motor cycle. So, marked price of the motorcycle is given to be forty six thousand. I write here 46,000. Okay. See so the discount is 5%. So I will write the discount as discount is 5% of 46,000. If I calculate 46,000 5% I'm getting 2300 that means now the net price which is offered is net price of the motorcycle is now 46,000 minus 2300 that is 43700 so 43, on this you will be adding the VAT right so VAT will be 10% of this value VAT will be 10% of 43,700 so that value becomes 
फोर थ्री सेवन जीरो इन दैट केस द अमाउंट दैट हैज़ टू बी पेड वाई परचेजिंग द मोटर बाइक और दैट द सेलिंग प्राइस विल बी फोर थ्री सेवन डबल जीरो प्लस फोर थ्री सेवन जीरो एंड दैट्स गिविंग मी फोर एट जीरो सेवन जीरो this will be the final cost of the motorcycle in the next session we'll be taking up i think um, compound interest that will be i think last part in the comparing quantity portions thank you